Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to add custom fonts to your WordPress Astra theme. So let's check out our customizer real quick. And obviously we've seen this page from our previous videos, but let's take a look at the global typography options. So once that loads in, okay, global, let's click on that and we'll see typography. Okay, and we have our presets and then we can change our fonts for the body or the headings. And I've custom chosen this one for a previous video. And we have a whole bunch of other fonts. Now we have system fonts here that are just native to WordPress and Astra. Okay, but what if we wanted to use Google fonts or fonts that we've downloaded or even had custom made for our brand or company. So let's go ahead to our dashboard and let's go over to plugins and let's add a new plugin and let's search custom fonts. I already looked it up beforehand. And this one is by Brainstorm Force and it's optimized for Astra. We could also use this one. You can see that uh, it's been more up. It's it's more up to date. But since we're using Astra, let's install this one, and we should be able to go right into it. Let's click on activate, and that should activate this plugin. Okay. So we're back here on the plugins and under custom fonts, it's installed, it's activated, and we can click on settings. Now we can add a new font. So we can click on this and we can either use a local font. Now this, this I'm gonna show you how to download and install fonts, or we can use Google fonts. Now all of these are fonts by Google and there's a massive library for for these Google fonts. Now, if you wanted to just, let's take an example that's easy to find. Let's say letter A oh, up here, uh, Acme. Okay, let's click on add. And it should be added to our uh, WordPress customizer now. So if we went over here and then uh, refreshed it, let's say over here home, let's go on global, let's click on typography, and let's change the heading font to, okay, we can scroll back up, Google fonts, and they're all added over here. So we can choose Acme, just for the sake of it, and it changes our header font to the Google font that we have installed. Now we can also change the weight and the size and so on. We can now move on to installing a font. So let's go over to Google and search for free font download. And let's just use the first one. You can use anything, like I said. And let's choose, let's refresh the site and Let's choose this one. Okay, I'll click on download and it should download it for us. Head over back to custom fonts and let's click on add new font. Now, the one we chose was called lemon milk and we can upload one. And I've already uh, uploaded this, but you have to remove it from the zip file and so on. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, click on that. And the preview might look like this. I think that's just the fault of this plugin. We can save this and you can add variations as well. If let's say for this one, let's open the WinRAR archive real quick. We can see that there's bold, uh, bold italic and regular and regular italic. And we can add those here one by one as well. So we'll save this font and we'll head back to our customizer here. And let's go back to global typography. And let's change the heading font to lemon milk. So here we have it up top. Let's scroll down. I just refresh the page real quick. And if we go up and scroll down, we have lemon milk. And you'll see 
we'll have our custom font enabled. So we can also do that for the bottom. Uh, let's, let's do it for the sake of doing it. Let's change it also to lemon milk. And we've changed everything to the same font. Okay, so once we're happy with that, we can publish our changes to save them and watch what happens when we refresh the page. Our fonts for the whole site have changed. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing as it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.